Our tutorial for today is about Pythagorean theorem, or sometimes it's called Pythagoras theorem. So the theorem says that if you add the squares of the two smaller sides, that will equal to the square of the longest side, and in this case, which is called a C square. So if we're going to have the shorter side as four, so four centimeters, and the other shorter side is three, so if we square them, that means find the area for that. So 4 square is going to be 16 and 3 square is going to be 9. So 3 times 3 is 9. So if we add them both, it should equal to the square of the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. And that in this case is the blue one. So if you find the area for the blue one, so that's 5 on the top and 5 on the side. So 5 times 5 is 25. So the square of those two little sides should perfectly fit into the blue square. The red square is 16 and the yellow square is 9. So 9 and 16 should fit really nicely into the 25 square, which is the blue one. And there it goes and it fits perfectly and that is the Pythagorean theorem okay so let's have a go at some problem so we've got a right angle triangle with sides 8 and 6 so the first thing you need to do when solving a problem is to write down the formula if it uses a formula so the formula for Pythagoras is a square plus B square is equal to C square it doesn't matter where your A or your B is so we could say a 6 is your a and 8 is your b the hypotenuse which is c is your x hypotenuse is the longest side of your triangle and it's the side which is opposite the 90 degree and the 90 degrees is usually represented by a little square now we're going to substitute the values to the formula so the given values are 6 and 8 so we're going to substitute that into your formula. So A is 6. So you square that. And B is 8. And your hypotenuse is X. So put that as X squared. Now we're going to calculate. So 6 squared is um, 36. So we're going to put 36. 8 squared is 64. And just, put, just leave the X squared there. Now, 36, 36 and 64 is equal to 100. So 100 is equal to x squared. Now, we just want the value of the x. So we're going to square root both sides. Square root of 100 is 10. And the square root of x squared is x. So x is equal to 10 centimeters. So let's try another problem. So this time is the shorter side, which is a noun. So as always, we're going to write the formula for Pythagoras and it's equal to a square plus uh, b square is equal to c square, which is a hypotenuse. You can label any side as a or b. So in this case, maybe you can try y as your a and four as your b. And of course, the hypotenuse is C. Now, A is Y, so we're going to put Y square. Uh, your B is 4, so 4 square is equal to C, which is 9, square that one. So, simplifying that, so 4 square is 16, and 9 square is 81. So, we're going to take away 16 from both sides. So, Y square is equal to 81 minus 16 which is equal to 65. Now we're going to take the square root on both sides so that the, y squ uh, the square root of y square is y and the square root of 65 is, is 8.06 rounded off to two decimal places. So there's no unit, so you leave it at that. So two decimal places. So let's try this exam question. It says ABCD is a trapezium. Calculate the length of AC. Give your correct, give your answer correct to three significant figures. 
so we're looking for AC so where is AC so this is AC here Hold on a moment. so this is A and just draw, draw a line up to that to C so that's AC so as you can see AC is the hypotenuse uh, of this triangle here so this is the side opposite the 90 degrees so we know uh, 8 here um, the side 8 and but we don't know this one so we need to find that one so how would we find that so as you can see AD is also a side of this rectangle so if we can find that side we should be able to get these two sides here and find the hypotenuse so this creates another tri triangle here so that's your 90 degrees so I'll just make that clearer there so that's 90 degrees so this is 8 and that is 3 here so the whole thing is 8 on the side CD and this is 3 so 8 minus 3 so this side here should be 5 yeah so those, this little side here Okay, so we want to find this side so we could label that as your X and that's 13 so you have if you have that triangle so I'm just gonna draw the triangle so create that triangle here and so this is your uh, angle B and that is your C and this is your 5 centimeter and that is your 13 so we just need to find side x so that's follows your Pythagoras theorem so that's a square plus b square is equal to c square so your a could be 5 so that could be your a that could be your b so a is 5 and then you square that one plus your b which is uh, x square that one is equal to your c and your c is 13 and you square that one too square of 5 is 25 and then you just have the x square there square of 13 is 169 so you take 25 both sides so that just leaves the x square so if you subtract 169 minus 25 it will give you 144 taking the square root take take the square root of both sides so square root of x square is just x and square root of 144 is 12 that means side x is 12 so we could put that there as 12 centimeters if that is 12 this is 12 2 okay so let's uh, label that side which we're looking for so we are looking for the length of AC and we need to give our answer correct to three significant figures okay so let's label that side AC so we're looking for that side so that's AC so whoops okay so I'm gonna write again draw that line again there you go so that is a triangle which okay if I write that back here so this is uh, angle that's angle A that's angle C and this is angle D which is also the right angle triangle so this is 12 centimeters this is uh, 8 centimeters and so we're looking for this side AC now uh, following Pythagoras the Pythagorean theorem a square plus B square is equal to C square so your a could be 12 and your b could be 8 is equal to y square now 12 square is 144 8 square is 64 is equal to y square so if you add them both you will have 208 and that's your y square okay get taking the square root of both sides so square root of y square is y you can write that there it's okay and square root of 200 uh, 208 is 114 sorry 14.4 
and this is rounded off to three significant figures and y is your side ac so you can replace y as ac and it's 14.4 centimeter so rounded off to three significant figures